What up, gangsters? We're gonna hit up some rust rust converter. What are you doing, bro? You can help us or what? Brody, let's kick it on. Living it up. Are you gonna help? Do you wanna help out? Yay! No jumping, mate. Yeah, so, gangsters, what we're doing today is we're gonna. a little bit of rust converter and a couple of bolts and bits that I've yeah, seen underneath the car. So we get that on, what it does is it just turns a rust into like a black inert, sub, inert substance that can just be painted and stuff over. It sort of primes it too at the same time. You know, I'd probably chuck some primer on there anyway, but yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna put it on the bolts. I'm not gonna be painting anything or anything like that. If I see any tiny little bits of rust, just pop a little bit of this on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I don't know if I'm gonna be replacing some of the, what do you call them, control arms or whatever on the back of the car in the front. So I'll just chuck a bit of this onto it. Ever I see a bit of rust now underneath, you know, bolts, eat, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll eventually replace them later. But with, with some things, I don't want the rust to start spreading. So that's why I'm just gonna chuck some of this on now, neutralize it, see what gives. Because now in England, uh, it rains all the time in England anyway, but it'll be slightly warmer. So if I want to start taking parts off and getting them powder coated and stuff, now's the time to do it. So, yeah, or, or I don't really want to take it off for the winter. I'm probably still going to drive and stuff as and when. But yeah, let's go do this. Have a look. So simple, guys. It's it's pretty. And, um, is it cheap? I think it was like six quid the little 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 bottle that I bought, but you can get them in like uh, much bigger quantities and stuff like that. For what I'm doing it for, the you know the couple of mil that I've bought will be will be perfectly fine. But if if, if you're going to be doing like a whole chassis or something, God, I'd probably get get like a spray on as well because I've got something that you can just brush on. But yeah, yeah, go for a rust converter, so then it can be painted straight afterwards and stuff like that. Or you could just put it on and leave it. But it doesn't sort of, yeah, okay, it'll convert that rust, but this sort of layer that it leaves can be washed off and stuff. So, yeah, maybe if you're going to do a more permanent solution, it's, yeah, put this rust converter on, paint it straight away sort of thing. Well, well not straight away for it to dry. But, yeah, it takes about two hours for you to, you know, for the reaction to take place. Did a little test bolt um, just to make sure that it works and stuff. But, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go through it. Check this out, this stuff is literally like magic. There we go, that's my little test piece I did last night. So we'll, um, yeah, so we'll chuck a bit more of this on. Show ya. So the reason why I'm doing these bits, guys, is like, is like I said, this is literally the cleanest one I could find in the UK. I've been looking for ages. And I mean, these things aren't getting away with absolutely no rust because of the salt and all those kind of bits, yeah. So yeah, this one was was definitely the least, you know, least amount of rust that I could find or anything like that. And I mean, this thing is clean as you, you're not going to find another one like in this condition in the UK. Well, well not, not currently through the market for the last year that I was checking. So, yeah, so this snapped it up and now we will go with treating all the little bits of rust. Because if you leave it another year and then leave it another year and leave it another year, eventually you come back to just a rusty mess. Here's the brand that I went with. And now it's just time to shake it like a Polaroid picture. And then we'll um, pour it into a little... Yeah, I'll pour off into like a little... This is just a lid off of another painting or something. So I'll just chuck it... Chuck some of it in there. Because you don't want to be yeah, pouring too much off and then pouring it back into the container. Contaminating the rest of the container. So let me do that. Shake this up. And we'll start painting. Okay, so let's start painting. Okay. It might be popping out of focus here when I, you know, whilst it sees my hand. So sorry, I can't control that. Let's just check and make sure we're not giving you guys a totally turd experience. Let's give us a bit of a check. We shall review the vid and make sure it's not too bad. Okay guys, yeah, it's time to change a brush because I'll be here all day painting this little thing. I just had took the little brush to try and do stuff that was more precise basically. I suppose everyone's thinking of, you know, if I use this, can I put it on paint and people have tons and tons of questions. As a basic rule guys, 
you can put it on pretty much anything, right? Most metals and stuff. If you put it on like some stainless and that, I did a little test on some stainless, and I'll show you a little bit later what that does. It, it made it, it actually discolored it a little bit, so I wouldn't be chucking it on anything like that. Or just on the piece of the exhaust, which had some bit of surface rust starting on. But you want to try and cover every piece with this. You've got to do a good job doing this. I'm putting on too much, by the way, if anyone's screaming at the camera or at the video going well, that he's putting on way too much. Yes, I'm putting on a lot. Yeah, so you can pretty, like I said, you can put on painted surfaces and stuff, right? But what it won't do is it won't, um, it won't create a protective layer if that's what you're thinking in your head. Like it won't create a protective layer forever and ever sort of thing. Like I said, it's quite hard to, it's quite hard to comprehend, but yeah, it'll convert the rust and stuff. And it allows you to paint with any, you know, pretty much any, any, like, you know, rattle can straight out the, straight from your, you know, Helfords or whatever. But it still it doesn't tell you that it, that it's like, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't like sort of stay on that, that, that sort of paintable surface, if that makes sense. If you keep writing in the salt and all the grime and stuff, it'll eventually come off, you know, the paintable bit. Like I said, I'm, I'm touching some of the paint here and it doesn't affect it, it doesn't make the paint bubble or anything like that, if that's what you guys are worrying about, or thinking. So that it's something that crossed my mind, basically, when I was looking into it the first time. I don't, I've got the, um, I'm doing new sway bar, so I won't be painting all that up. But yeah, this is it pretty much, guys. Paint anything that you see that's slightly rusty. And that's it. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention is if you... If you have, like... If your rust is starting to bubble and you're getting... It's scaling up and stuff. Then you want to... Most definitely scratch that off with either a wire brush, a little bit of wire wool. Or some sandpaper or something like that. But just remember, if you start going wild, then introduce rust everywhere. When you start the sanding down process, then you need to paint the stuff pretty much everywhere. So you have to clean the surface off afterwards and stuff. So that takes it, it makes the process not quite as quick, but then most definitely do that because then you'd be doing it properly and stuff and treating it correctly. Because if it's scaling and stuff and you put this on the top and it's just like a, you know, a big piece that's just pretty much loose on the top, just think about it. Common sense, it's not going to reach the rust underneath that you really want to treat. I'm trying to hit the gangsters with a different angle here. So you can see that I'm putting on a bit of, you know, where it's slightly painted and stuff. Now for me, for me, I'm I'm pretty much happy happy to convert it because I'm not. I'm not going to paint it straight away because what I'm thinking is that I might take these bits off and then go get them all powder coated and stuff. But just thinking that now, I don't don't know for certain yet. We shall see because it's, it's going to involve taking it off the road for a bit. And you're saying, you know, while we're painting, you're probably thinking while we're painting it so liberally, because this is just like tiny rust, rust spots. You can see obviously others around. There's, there's no two ways about it. Like you can see this bolt here. There's tons on that, right? But as a general rule, there's just tiny little bits of surface rust here. So I just want to stop those from getting any bigger, really. That could have probably, that piece that I touched there could have probably done with some um, wire wood or something. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing, guys. Just going around painting it all. And yeah, you won't see me spraying it up or anything like that. But let's show you what it looks like once it's converted. It. Eggs and baguettes. Common sense prevailed. Put the put the safety glasses on because yeah, I thought it'd be a great idea. Cause seeing as I'm upside down and I'm um, yeah painting on a acid-based product, which converts the rust. I don't know if it'll convert my eyeball to what. I have no clue. I haven't got any rust in my eye. But I don't think I need any of that in it either. So yeah, pop a, pop a set of these on because it's probably going to be pretty tasty if it goes in your eyes. I've got some wire wool and some of the old alcoholio wipes. 
because you don't want to use TP because you use it for your bunghole. And I find a bit of rust that I could just hit with some Y wool for you guys just to show you what I mean. But yeah, Y wool's wicked. It's so funny. That it's so it's so useful, but most people would not be able to touch this because it's got that weird feeling, and they'll just be like, Ugh. makes you like cringe. <laughs> It's such a weird feeling. And then yeah, got some of these. You can find these. Um, you can find the alcoholio wipes and yeah, probably a what's it called? Uh, first aid kit and stuff too. But you can just buy them from any but like pain prep or anything like that. You just get a couple of things of these. So yeah, wire wool or wire brush or whatever you're gonna use, and then hit it with this afterwards. Well, I don't hope. I hope that my whole code goes absolutely perfectly, but there might be one or two little spots where you can see that it hasn't quite been cleaned up because you've got to clean the surface before to so make sure there's nothing on it so that the stuff can adhere. But we, you know, start doing it to start the reaction. But you know, I, I could have missed a couple of spots, so maybe you'll be able to see where I've painted over and it hasn't quite converted to the rest. So I'll have to sort of wash it or maybe get a bit of abrasive on it so I can cut through the coating and then hit the rust again. Uh, potentially it all goes through um, swimmingly and there's nothing to show you but that could potentially happen so yeah stick with me gangsters. Maybe underneath a shock absorber will justify using a bit of wire wool. Let's just show you guys the process. My thugs and thuggets. With regards to this car as you guys know I'm going to be doing a lot to it but we're going to go we, we, we're gonna go from how everybody should really mod cars is sort of handling handling or you know if, if, if uh, you know just chuck big power and don't do brakes too so what we're gonna do is we're going to do yeah I'm gonna go from handling probably handling braking handling braking then we start increasing the power drastically but but let's not even say drastically let's do these mods in a way that it's not a budget car, but it can be, in my opinion, if you can work on stuff yourself in that. But yeah, we're going to go through it. We'll buy our parts and stages. Show you guys how to do the stuff at home. Sorry, you probably couldn't hear me then because I was away from the camera. But yeah, show you guys how to do the stuff at home. Let's do some real world stuff, right? Not like all these other legends. I mean, well, yeah, everyone else is making tremendously you know, great videos and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, most of you guys are at home aren't exactly rolling in it or well, some people are rolling in it and then you're taking it to a garage and they're doing it no one's hating on you for that it is what it is and good you're smashing it but a lot of us will be doing stuff at home and, and some people just like working on their own things you know I've, I've, I've got a i've got a really good friend who's got an amazing garage and stuff and and you know he does awesome work on my cars and whatever but there's just something satisfying about doing it yourself even if you can afford to pay other people i don't know what it is it's it's some guys and some dudes just love tinkering. Well, people love tinkering. Let's just hit this with some wire wool. Let me just, oh, no, let me tear a piece off on camera to get, get the people freaking. This stuff is, oh, you can just, you can imagine that. Mm-hmm. Oh, just feels weird. Use a set of gloves with this because when you start rubbing it in, it really sucks because your fingers end up in pain because it's like tiny little like feels like tiny bits of needles in your fingers because of the bits of wire that stick in so here we go now, this isn't probably going to record properly at all but okay so we're just hitting this roughing this up a little bit now remember superstars if you hit this and you've got a beautifully painted surface around it you're going to ruin it no oh, sorry yeah Apologies in advance for the um, the way the camera won't be picking this up properly at all. Oh god! Let me just stop this recording because it's put it's it's hurting my eyes. Yeah, sorry, superstars. Couldn't put you guys through it. Couldn't put myself through it. So I'd stop recording while I scraped that down. But you can still see where it's shiny. That's where I rubbed it down. Just to get that bit of surface rust off. This is the only the only bit that I can show you like this. But like I said, if you can see a arm up there. Well, th that these kind of bits I'm probably gonna probably won't chuck rust converter on that I don't know in the joints where it joins to other things is rubber boots and stuff so it shouldn't start spreading I might chuck a little bit on it we'll, we'll see but it's yeah it's probably gonna get powder coated and stuff and then and, and with regards to the powder coating pr process you can get it shop lost and stuff like that but it can leave a potentially like pitted finish 
but it's cast iron and well, yeah probably yeah probably cast iron and stuff so it doesn't have a smoothest finish anyway and maybe the powder coat will give it a smooth finish anyway but yeah let's buy the bike let's paint this up for you guys and show you sorry if i'm wheezing here like a bit of a beast i'm in a in a dodgy angle Yeah, so like I say, we've got to keep, you got to do this, it's just, a, like I say, it's a tiny bit of effort for, for great results, and just, just gets longevity really, because like I say, those tiny bits of rust now will just be huge in future. And these are the, you, you know, when, when you're talking about like, connecting part, like suspension and that kind of stuff, when you've got too much rust in certain places, mate, MOT failure all day, unless you're getting the dodgy ones. But yeah, MOT failure all day, all day. Rust. Warning on the first one, if it's in seams and stuff like that, well, you're done. And you talking, for, for, for most most rust, you, you know, you go to a body shop and you want some rust, and, and we talking like surface rust conversion, you know, a surface rust, you want it fixed and painted. And we're not talking deep holes and stuff like that, you talking 250. 250 quid straight up straight up I'm trying to get into it connects down here because of the bits that you can't see where the rust will be gathering the thing is I haven't actually cleaned down in there properly I probably wouldn't have got to it nicely so that potentially couldn't work could not work but it is what it is let's come back to it and see if it did anything later okay perfect we had a bit that's not going right so not getting the desired effect on the converter here so I must have had you know, I th you know I thought that you know it was only surface rust anyway it hasn't doesn't look like it's gone through properly to the welds and stuff but it just wasn't adhering properly so let's quickly show you that this is what I'm doing so I'm hitting it straight again I hit it with the alcohol wipes afterwards get a bit more juice in there a bit more vigor and I'll coat it again the result is ridiculously good I cannot believe it Check that out. That is incredible. You can see I did a little test for you there on the sway bar. So I didn't touch the sway bar because I'm going to put a new one of those on. But look at that. It's incredible. Look, see on the... If I just focus that for you. See on the sway bar? I did half and half. I didn't even scrape that or anything just to try and show you what the rust was like before. That is absolutely incredible. Just painted it on. I mean, I hit it with the with a bit of a second coat in places where I still saw I didn't get the rust properly. That's just a little quick like test patch and stuff, and it is it's so good. So so good. Would definitely recommend using this stuff all day. It's so easy. Just paint it on. Recommendation is probably get a bigger brush. And just be totally liberal with it. And just yeah, whack, you know, put the stuff on nice and thick. But yeah. Could have scraped a bit more of it, you know, could have got a bit more of the even surface rust off to be honest with some wire wool or something. Wire brush isn't going to do it. Wire wool is going to be a little bit better for you or a scouring pad of sorts. But yeah, definitely recommend this stuff.